My name is Tim Sutinen from PrivacyProShop.com. Today I'll show you how to install Graphene OS into a brand new Pixel 7 phone using nothing but another Android phone and the USB cable that comes in the phone box. No computer, no need to load drivers, no technical knowledge needed. No need to be afraid either. This is pretty simple. Before you start, make sure both phones are fully charged. You will need to use a Chrome or Chromium based browser on the phone that you'll be doing the installation from. Compatible browsers are listed on grapheneos.org. I'm using the Vanadium browser in this example. For this example, I'm doing the installation from an older model Pixel phone, a Pixel 4a 5G. With this phone, the installation took about 25 minutes from start to finish. Once you get your new Graphene OS phone up and running, make sure you install the most private and secure messaging app in the world, Session Private Messenger. You can download Session from the F-Droid App Store or from Google Play Store. When you run Session for the first time, it will assign you your Session ID. It is a 66 character hexadecimal string of numbers and letters. Have you noticed that the new message dialog box says Enter session ID or ONS name. That is a name that gets recorded in the Oxen blockchain forever, and you could even sell it to someone else in the future. This name is called the session ONS name, and it makes it easy for your friends and family to contact you. You can buy session ONS names from privacyproshop.com using a credit card or other major cryptocurrencies. If you pay with crypto, you can stay anonymous. At this time, the name is only $5. Obviously, if you already have Oxen cryptocurrency, you can do the purchase in your own Oxen wallet. But most people don't have Oxen, so we at privacyproshop.com have made it easy for normal people to buy a session ONS name. So the first thing to do when you're setting up a new Graphene OS device is to take the phone that you want to convert and go into the settings. And then go to About Phone, go down to Build Number, tap on that thing as many times as it takes to get into a dev the developer mode, then go back, then click on System, then click on Developer Options, go to OEM Unlocking. There it is. Click on Enable. And then you are ready to reboot the phone. Choose reboot from the, so hold the power button down. Choose restart and then hold the down arrow or the down button on the side here. There it is, it'll boot to the fast boot mode. So you can leave it right there. Then grab your phone, this one right here, plug in the USB cable into the bottom of it. Then take the other end and plug this phone to be developed, turned into Graphene OS into it. And then open up the Vanadium browser. Go to grapheneos.org. Click on Install Graphene OS. Click on the Web USB installer. Click on the Unlocking the Bootloader. So unlock the bootloader. Choose Pixel 7 from the list. Click on Connect. Allow Vanadium to access it? Yes, click OK on that. Then on the phone screen, the new phone screen, you will notice that there is a message that says if you unlock the bootloader, you'll be able to install a custom operating system. And so you just need to hit the down or up key once until it says unlock the bootloader and then hit the power button. And that will do it. So now the device has been wiped and it's unlocked. So then on that same page, you can, on the, on the other phone, so your Graphene OS phone that's already, or the phone that's doing the install, continue on to the, on the web page and go to download release. So you tap on that and then Pixel 7, yep, connect to it and allow access to it again, yep. And now it's finding and downloading the latest release of this thing, of Graphene OS. 
Machine World Flash, the factory image now. Choose Pixel 7 from the list. Click Connect. Click OK. And that should get going. And there it is. Doing the writing, the bootloader and stuff. Restarting device. It's rebooting now. So now it's rebooted. I'm going to reconnect to it. And it should continue. Restarted it again. And we'll reconnect again. And it'll run through a bunch of stuff. You'll have to go through multiple device reconnections. Okay, we'll reconnect again. Oh. Should come to here. All right, now let's try to reach. There it is, Pixel 7, connect. Okay, we'll have our final reconnection here before the install is complete. There it is, we'll reconnect. And it has been flashed. Next up is to lock the bootloader. So we'll hit lock bootloader and on the phone, We'll switch it to lock the bootloader and hit the power button. And boom, we are done with the install. Now let's just wait until it reboots and gets to the Graphene OS login screen. We'll hit start. There it is. It'll tell you that your device is loading a different operating system. That is completely normal. Then it'll flash a Google screen here. And after the Google screen flashes, we should get a Graphene OS screen. Yep, there it is. And there it is. Your Graphene OS device is ready. And that's all she wrote. If you're interested in the topics of privacy, Graphene OS, Session, LokiNet, and the Oxen Network, please check out my channel. And have a happy day.